Well, this is just their very first meeting, Vanessa. Governor Scott uh, created this advisory panel earlier this summer to advise him on a variety of issues surrounding potential legalization if the legislature uh, proceeds as soon as this coming year. This is a 13-member advisory commission whose members uh, come from a variety of state agencies, uh, experts in public health and public safety, and four members uh, who were selected by the House and the Senate. They are charged with examining issues around highway safety and how to keep uh, recreational pot out of the hands of young people if it's legalized. Eventually, they will also study a potential uh, tax and sale regulatory model such as uh, exists in Oregon and Colorado. The Advisory Commission has until the end of the year to come up with initial recommendations around road safety and impairment standards uh, and youth prevention. They'll have all of next year to recommend a best approach if Vermont were to, uh, down the road, proceed with a Colorado-style system. Now, none of this ensures that Vermont is going to proceed with legalization, but the Republican governor says he is open to this, uh, citing his libertarian streak, and the House and Senate seem uh, willing to go along with this as well. Uh, the governor just wants uh, to learn as much as he can from some of the other states who have gone first. The legislature could send him a bill, though, as soon as January. We're live at the Department of Public Safety in Waterbury. Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.